Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the GE 7 2500 B FM AM pocket radio. I purchased my radio for a total of $13.70 shipped from eBay, and it came in the original box. It says GE on the front, FM AM radio. We've got some stickers for the prices, picture of the radio, model number. Bottom, we have miniature portable FM radio. Back of the box, we have some care instructions. So kind of let you look at that. There we go. Side of the radio, we have some, okay, same on both sides. We have some information. Built-in AFC on FM reduces drift. Two antennas. Direct tuning with slide rule dial. Jack for optional earphone. Convenient carry thong. What? Thong? <laughs> oh boy. Um, not carry strap, not hand strap, but thong. <laughs> Way to keep it real, G. Even back in the day, you guys were doing a good. <laughs> Holy cow. This makes me laugh. Thong. You guys will never forget this. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on. Um, GE AM FM IC integrated circuit. There's a picture of a guy or a gal holding the radio, hanging out, chilling, with the thong hanging there on the side. Um, rugged, slim silhouette, designed for easy portability. Okay, let's open this up. Inside, we get the radio. Nothing else in the box. It runs in a 9 volt battery. I pre installed it. It's pretty hard to open up, so we're just going to leave it in there. All right, here's the radio. Let's get some dimensions three and a quarter inches wide, five and a quarter inches high, and a depth of one and a half inches. On the front of the radio, we have this really cool chrome bezel, which I love. We have the window. We have the FM scale, 88 to 108. We have a log scale. We have the AM scale, 550 to 1600 kilohertz. We have the General Electric logo. And if you look with this orange bar, and that's actually our tuning indicator, which means we're all the way to this side. So we're gonna go back and look how cool that is. That is like so awesome. I love that tuning feature. Okay, speaker, about, about a two inch speaker there. The bottom we have another chrome embellishment with the FM AM stamp there. Left side of the radio we have our carry thong, which is really small. I really can't oh there we go, I got it on my wrist. Okay, that works. Um, on the right side of the radio we have that tuning wheel, which is nice and large and easy to tune. I like that a lot. It's very nice. Volume on off switch. Top of the radio, we have our antenna. The antenna extends out to 16 inches. Bottom of the radio, we have these two little feet. It stands up really nice on. We also have a little slot where you use a nickel to pop open the back to get to the battery. And then we have a screw that holds down the antenna. Back of the radio, we have General Electric, mile number. We have our band select, AM, FM. We're starting at AM. Vented cabinet. We have an earphone jack, which is mono left ear. It must be a blank spot there for something. And we are good. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on and see what we can hear. It is now 3 in the morning. Yes, I'm up late tonight. Uh, let's see what we can hear in these twilight hours on the AM band. So we're going to turn this on. And I'm going to see what we can find. There's 
a faint uh, country music station there. I'm not sure which one that is. I don't believe it's 650. That might be WSN, Nashville. Hope you're right. One thing though, uh, it sounds like, like six seventy uh, local. Seven away. Benson was still better than Curtis. Talked about the way is not only the. I'll tell you, I've been running them Toyo tires off and on for a long time, and I'll tell you. I think this is seven hundred WLW, Cincinnati. Gotta be 720 WGN. Don't know what they're doing. That's 740 Zoomer. Can tell by the classic music. I think this is a Detroit station. I believe it's 760. Mike Krauser explained. Activist and state rep candidate Will WBBM 780 local. Donald Act that was buried in Springfield before. The three entities that we feel conspired to cover up Laquan's death. The mayor of Chicago. Love the sound on the AM. It sounds very nice. This is the kind of tone I like. Give us the power to recall. This must be our uh, Canadian station, Toronto's um, CJBC, I believe. This is Louisville coming in kind of weak right now. sure some of those were fire stations it just can't wait forever for them to get call letters so let's keep going Coast to Coast AM is has some interesting articles once in a while I'll go over. This one's talking about lucid dreaming. Kind of cool copy. Yeah. 
the best prices in the metro area. Looking for a new watch? Jewels on Hampton has an extensive collection this is Camel of Camel X. And vintage watches. Carrying some of the tech from their brains. Even unique fake watches. I might have missed the magic hour where I get really clear reception. Music back there, I love music. I mean, I'm a little finding that. A lot of stations here. Highly sensitive. That's a first. Well, there you go. That's the first uh, time I've hit 1610 Hispanic station out of Toronto. Something to write down. Cool. I guess it pays to stay up till 3 in the morning doing this. Cool. This is my hazardous uh, alert road system uh, they have in the county over for me. And when I get this on a portable, I'm really excited because most of my AM portables have a hard time picking this up. So this is neat to find on this radio. Wow. Alright, well that ends the AM scan. I'm very impressed with the sensitivity and selectivity. I've been using this radio for a couple days now, and yeah, the station's coming beautiful with it. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for an AM radio, this is good. So let's see what the FM can do. We have the 16-inch antenna here. We're going to try to extend it fully and see where it goes to the bottom of the scale. And put our switch to FM. And let's see what we can hear tonight, if we can hear anything. If I remember right, the FM was pretty challenging in this location. So 
out of the free. I mean, brethren, we are not the but of the free. Say, Jack, what is he talking about? Well, it's interesting that Paul assumes that his Galatian audience knows a Barely hearing that. All about the attendant position. There we go. Bump the dial. I was trying to get my classical station. Let's see what we ran into. Yo. Challenging reception area. Rocking it, sweet. It's like the mini super radio, but not on the FM. <laughs> Well, that concludes that. Let's do our final thoughts on the radio. All right, so the GE 7-2500B, purchased for $13.70. It's definitely a buy in my book. Uh, the AM reception is phenomenal. Uh, it, this radio, I'll probably use it for AM only. Uh, the FM, I'll have to be outside or in a good location for it to come in nicely. But uh, this will be my AM go-to radio for a while. I'm going to definitely uh, see what I can find with it. Just an amazing vintage look. Just got that cool textured case. This front dial window is amazing. I love the tuning indicator. Uh, we all know about that. Uh, yeah, It's just a good solid radio for the money. If you're a collector and you want something different, if you don't have this already, Feel free to uh, go on eBay, and they're, they're all over the place. You'll find them. They're very common. And uh, so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon because GE did it. <laughs> they're rocking it old school, keeping it real. I love it. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos uh, and you want to stay alerted, uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you get notified right away when a new one comes up. I put one out almost every evening. So you'll have a surprise uh, in store for you because I'm not sure what I'm going to do from, from night to night, but uh, it's exciting nonetheless. And uh, comment below because if you had a radio like this or you enjoy this type of radio, uh, and this you know something you want to comment about it, let me know. I'd like to know. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.